and think he's gonna be able to get the town hall down and oh lots of traps down it goes Welcome back. Today we have three bases for you guys that did really well in the recent World Championship Qualifiers. Starting off with this one, we got the Giant Arrow with the Queen on this Dragon Attack. She's able to get an early air defense, but nothing after that. And she's going to try to clear out this bottom side of the base. In the meantime, we do have the Stone Slammer, the Dragons, and the Warden from the left compartment. So the Dragons are going to be responsible for the Town Hall later on. The Electro Dragon at 12 o'clock trying to clear some buildings out, but too much damage up there. He's not going to get more than a couple of buildings. He does get one last chain off. Going to rage on the bottom side for the Queen. Helps her get through the Enemy King. And she should be able to get the Eagle Artillery. Dragon's moving in. We got the Poison being thrown. He's going to overgrowth the Town Hall and the Sweepers. And that's going to be for the Dragons to take care of later on. There we go. The Queen finally moving on to the Eagle Artillery to get that down. The King's moving in from the right side. We got Super Barbs coming in to set the funnel. But the Spring Traps on the outside of the base are flinging away his funneling troops. So the Super Barbs not able to get those buildings down. However, it shouldn't matter. The King still moving in over there. And then the Royal Champion does have the Rocket Spear and the Seeking Shield. So we'll see how she's going to do with that. There we go with the RC on the left side. Pops her ability. Seeking Shield does get thrown. She's going to be able to get the Expo taken down. Freeze for the Town Hall compartment. He's got a Rage there as well. Trying to get this one Dragon to take it out. But the Dragon gets pushed. The Dragon finds a Seeking Air Mine. Down it goes. That is unfortunate, and the dragons on the bottom side are thinning out as well. The RC is getting stuck on Skelly. She's run out of long throws at this point, and she is also going to go down. If it weren't for the Archer Queen still alive on the bottom side of the base, this would absolutely be a one star, but the Queen's going to be able to move in, save the two star for this attack. However, it's still not going to be enough for the three star, so this is going to still be a very nice defense for this base. Let's move on to the next one. All right, this next base, next replay, we've got Ghost coming in with a Root Rider attack. We got the Barbarian King on the top right side. We got the Siege Barracks over there towards 3 o'clock. And then it's going to be full send from 12 o'clock with the Root Riders. He's got the jump spell down for the King, but the King has other ideas. He's actually going to start moving over here towards where the Root Riders are going in. So, unfortunately, kind of a waste of a jump spell there. We got the Queen on the far left side taking down the Barbarian King. She's got a Headhunter there to help out. The king is going to go back for the jump spell here and go where he was supposed to. Just kidding. Oh, wait. Oh, the king, he doesn't know what he wants to do. There we go. Now he's finally going to move in and do what he's supposed to do. In the meantime, these root riders in the core of the base have taken quite a bit of damage here. And again, it's because of that late eagle artillery, which is still standing on that top left side. So those eagle shots coming in do a lot of damage to the root riders. Looks like he only has a few left. Luckily, the few that are left are still somewhat healthy. We got the RC still pushing through. She'll eventually move in and take down the Eagle, but the Eagle is still going to continue to get more and more shots in. In the meantime, there's the RC's ability. Down goes the Eagle Artillery, finally. And then the Overgrowth does wear off. The Poison gets tossed. That Town Hall doing a lot of damage. The Barbarian King is going to go down to Phoenix. Looks like the Root Riders have pretty much all fizzled out. There's a couple left there, but it's not going to be nearly enough. A couple of Super Barbarians coming in from the right side of the base. The Queen has gone down on the left, and there we have it. Actually, I don't even think he's going to be able to get the Town Hall down, so this is going to be a massive one-star defense for this one. All right, here we go. Last base, last replay of the match. We'll see how this one goes. It is going to be another dragon attack here, so we'll see what he's able to get done. We do have that eagle artillery a bit more exposed on this base, so hopefully we can see that one going down, and we're going to start with a giant arrow. It's actually a great giant arrow. It gets two air defenses and the air sweeper, so we can start the dragons on that right side. So the queen with their healer puppet going to try to work through the barbarian king on the bottom side, the electro dragon. Taking quite a bit of damage there on the right side. It is getting some change through, and here we go. We got the dragons moving in. That queen actually goes down super early to the Barbarian King. So aside from the giant arrow, she really didn't get much value. So let's see how these dragons can do. We got the blimp over the top, of course, and then we got that clone spell as well. So let's see where this blimp can go. And oh, lots of traps down it goes. It fell well short of the town hall. He drops in the clone. Did he miss it? No, he got a dragon rider in the clone spell. And both dragon riders get absolutely slapped by the monolith there and gets nothing out of that blimp. That is unfortunate there. At least he got the eagle. <laughs> but unfortunately, now he's got to try to get this town hall. He's got the royal champion moving in, but lots of skelly traps are distracting her and keeping from getting that town hall down, at least for now. We still have the king alive on the left side. Or wait, now she just popped her ability. I thought she popped it earlier. Okay, so she's got plenty of power to get through the town hall. So she gets that down. But we got more skelly traps. Again, we've got the late ice golems coming out. The RC has gone down. The ice golems are going to hold up the barbarian king for a bit. 
The Monolith is firing away, takes down the Owl, and it looks like it is going to switch to the Barbarian King, so the Dragons should be able to get it down. I'm not sure why the Monolith switched targets there, but it's going to switch to the Dragon. Down goes the Monolith, but it doesn't matter. He's out of time on this one. Even if he did have enough time, though, he didn't have enough power to get through everything that was left on this base. So, again, another nice defense for this one. And also, if you want to try these bases, like I said before, all of the links are down in the description below. If you guys do decide to give these bases a try, let us know down in the comments how they hold up for you. That's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out World Base Building with the links on the screen here. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.